Hello everyone, welcome to my Game Maker Select tutorial series. And in this world I will be covering getting hit. I know I should probably combine it with uh, ring loss as well, but I'm not doing that. It would take way too long for just one part. So in this part I will be covering getting hit and next part uh, I will add ring loss. But before we uh, do that, I was mentioned that the angle system for the slopes isn't exactly what we want. Because if you are standing on a slope and a solid on the same time, you will still have an angle and it looks weird. So here uh, in collide slopes, we will add it and not place meeting x, y plus one object solid. So if you are not standing on a solid, then get this angle. And of course, when we are not rolling and we are on the ground. So let's see if this works. I don't see why it shouldn't, but yeah, it works fine. So now that we've done that, let's add a sprite for Sonic getting hit. And of course, we're gonna name it Sprite, sprite Sonic Hit. The sprite is in the same sheet as. Uh, the other Sonic sprite, so I don't think I need to uh, post a link to that. And just center it, and as always, 31 minus 16 equals 15. So the y origin will be 15. Now, uh, for the coding, this is a bit trickier, but first in the room, I'm just for testing purposes gonna add uh, walls here so that the motor bug won't leave the area and we can test if we get hit properly so for object motor bug colliding with object sonic we had a code here this one destroys the enemy but this one should hurt the player and we uh, haven't coded it yet so we're gonna do that now here we will say if other that can hit equals true. So if uh, Sonic can get hit, so if he is not invincible, we will call a script player get hit. And um, this script will be made a bit later. For now we will need to create some variables in object sonic. In the create event, uh, we will add a few variables, can hit equals true, because on default we can get hit, can sprite change equals true. Uh, this basically says, uh, well right now it automatically detects which sprite we need, like jumping, uh, walking, etc. Um, but when we are hit, we want to have the hit sprite and not a walking sprite or something so we need to disable that automatic uh, sprite changement so that's why this variable is here now did I miss anything? Uh, we'll see anyway in the step event we will apply that can sprite change here handle sprites Everything will execute if can sprite change equals true. Alright, and here for jumping, I forgot something. Uh, just add and can move equals true. Because we only want to jump when we can move. Now let's go to the script. We call it player get hit. Alright, so with object sonic, because we don't call it an object sonic itself, we call it an object motor bug. So, for example, if we put X here, this will not be the exposition of object sonic, but the exposition of object motor bug. So, that's why I added with object sonic here. And there can hit equals 
false so he will become invincible can sprite change equals false and can move equals false sprite index equals sprites on the kit so we just disabled the automatic spriting and we are now manually setting the sprite to sprite sonic hit and vertical speed equals minus five yeah you can adjust this if you want uh, more knockback vertically and h speed equals image x scale times minus 2.5 so basically this one says if we are facing right we take knockback to the left which makes sense so this should send sonic fl uh, no wait I forgot one thing here ground equals false alright so this should make sonic flying but it would fly infinitely and we don't want that so here return control when the player is on the ground when, when the player falls on the ground when getting hit right so in real sonic games getting hit will make you flying and when you uh, fall on the ground you will re uh, get to control again so here we're going to do that if ground equals true and sprite index equals sprite sonic hit so if we uh, are flying with the sprites sprite sonic hit and we are on the ground we will return control so can move equals true can sprite change equals true because we want to automatic sprite changing again and image alpha equals 0 0.5 so Sonic will be a bit transparent because he will still have an invincibility timer and as far as I know that's about one and a half seconds if I'm wrong you can change uh, this value but uh, the game runs at 60 FPS so uh, one and a half seconds equals 90 frames and then add an alarm zero event here which says can hit equals true and image alpha equals one so we are not transparent anymore and we can once again get hit let's see if this works fine no uh, I see this uh, in player get hit it shouldn't be HP it should be global.fell because that's our movement variable and also here by return the control we also set global.fell equals zero because the horizontal movement should stop it's like that in all Sonic games so it should be like that here too So, I think this works fine. I don't see any problems with it. So yeah, that was it for this part. It was a little shorter than most parts. But still adding ring loss will be uh, way too much for just one part. So, um, yeah, I'm still splitting them. Anyway, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll see you next time.